be as difficult for VGJ to escape or even react to this. Basically a permanent, lock permanent lockdown. And then you still got the other heroes from Team Secret. We're still missing, like... I'm assuming this is, what, Ace's Razor? Like, would, would that be the easiest assumption? Um, I mean, they all play it. That's really just about what heroes they want to pair with. And this is what makes this lineup so strong. If you look at the opener, Witch Doctor, Razor, Shaker. None of no one knows who's playing the Razor. So yep. these last two cores can be anything, and they get to see four heroes of EJJ Thunder. You know what you need, you need the You need the new Slark. With his base region come up, like something like all the old classics of the bat ride that you can get, and Slark was one of them. And he, uh, so he, he went from what was it, 1.5? So base HP region, yeah, 1.5 to 2.75. It, it's gonna be like a jug, a life stealer, bro. probably. They're not, they're not, <laughs> it's uh, just, it's a great jug life stealer game. Or the bat, that works too. Yeah, so that's they're just filling the offline. Mm -hmm. They'll, uh, they won't get to see everything VGJ's got, they can at least. At least get VGJ to ban something. So you said uh, Morphling was also on the hit list for the fifth ban. Mm -hmm. I definitely think you ban Morphling. Hundred percent, you gotta ban Morphling. And I like the Abaddon because the Ace seconds. hero is easier to replace than the Fada hero. You really want Abaddon in this game. Uh, you get the lane secured from the Shaker, like you mentioned before. It's just the hard counter to Bat, and it's a it's great to synergize with Razor because now the Razor can deal with the Bat as well. Thanks to you. You can remove the fear as well. You can pretty much remove all of Willow's spells, so. Where's your, uh... It can't work that way. <laughs> I'm like, can you have Shadow Demon come into the middle? In instant freedom. They need some hero that secures them the game. I think it's likely... Uh, that's the beauty of having Ace and mid one, right? Who cares who plays the Razor? They both play plenty of heroes like Bido and... Yeah. I'm just waiting to see something like uh, like the Invoker pickup that we saw previously. He just needs to just tilt the balance of power when it comes to all the lanes. The Juggernaut will be the final ban from VGJ, so they're still looking towards Ace's overwhelming hero that could be picked up. And I, I'm just really not liking the damage coming out of VGJ at the moment. Like if if Team Secret got like Lifesteal or they even had like like Ace's Lone Druid. Uh, pick up. I don't think they have enough damage to get through it all. They have a lot of control, a lot of CC, yeah. but they have no one to really capitalize on. There's even... so much pressure on Silas' shoulders to get to actually yeah. get that damage. And even if they pick something like a Morphling, it just takes so long to come online. It's just where yeah. you. How does that help them? What if, What if Team Secret just start pushing you? That's what I was thinking. Like Lone Druid might be a real option just for that that pressure that Ace is able to apply. They ban out the OD. They could. They have enough in the early game to, to have good rotations, have enough time for the Morphling to come online. And it's not like VGJ Thunder are going to be able to pressure them too hard. VGJ is almost... Five seconds a Morphling as well, but can't get it. That's where Morphling might be. Team pick. Oh. They did go Slark. <laughs> there we go. Oh, boy. Oh. I mean, it's a dream. It's a great Slark game, to be fair. It's so, so, I haven't seen this hero in so long. So, br break it down. Like, why did this hero disappear? Well, he... Seconds remaining. Really bad laner. And something a lot of people don't realize is how Five clarities are just... Remaining. Now because you farm woods with it. But Dark mm. Pact removes clarity. So as a Slark, you can't ever have this free mana potion to farm jungle and recover with because your farming ability... Um, however, it is excellent in this game because both Morphling and Terrorblade are hard countered by Slark. And those are the heroes that really complete VGJ's draft. <laughs> so what does VGJ do? They go for the oh, Luna. Goodness, that hero is even... That hero is dumpstered by Slark. Why are they... I... Slark game. If there were ever a Slark game, this is it. You have an Abaddon, so that if your cleanse isn't enough and you do get lassoed, he can cleanse you. Uh, you have plenty of stuns to back you up, a Razor to run in and provide you vision. It's so easy to just play off map, farm, and just show up at some point and say, hey, what's up, guys? I got him. Okay. Saw it coming? I mean, it's... Uh, I, just, I was just wondering, like, this, it's that question mark you have on these new heroes, and I was kind of hoping the puppy would just be able... Because he, he always plays in the fly. Like, he's mm -hmm. like, okay, you know what? I, I know this hero can work. Like, I understand the situation. 
I know this can work, so hey, I'm just gonna pick this hero and it's and it's gonna and, and we're gonna win the game with this. And it's it's the new buff, right? Like he's gonna have confidence I mean, in his own team on. to do it. And he's and probably that's the other thing too. He knows his team can pull this off. Before the buff, this is this is the dream <laughs> Slark game, okay? Luna bat hard countered by Slark. Tusk leap away from the shards, no threat. You can purge you can cleanse everything Dark Willow throws at you. And it's the same with DP. It's the Slark game. So yeah, he was buffed, but the, this would have been a good Slark game like two patches ago as well. Uh -huh. I know he's not but, picked, but there were yeah. a game, this is it. So if they lose with Slark, this hero really <laughs> is dumpster. bad. Yeah. It's like, I, I got increased turn rate up against Batrider Sticky Napalm. That's down by, by 0 0.1. Uh, and I got increased HP regeneration. So it's 4.3 base regeneration for Slark when he, when he walks out, because he's got the mango also. <laughs> I can't believe that. But yeah. that, that's the thing about VGJ. They really don't adapt very much. They have drafts and heroes, and they don't. Uh, we learned that lesson at TI4 with our OTK drafting. Uh, but maybe it works. Maybe it works. Team Secret have four players on the bottom lane. Full protection for Ace to begin with. Yep, so you know he'll be rotating when he's got boots and two clarities. Uh, actually kind of surprised he's not just up on that top lane already looking for the Fissure block. Um, mid one is down here on the bottom lane, so they're, they're wondering if VGJ Thunder is going to get aggressive on them. Um, that leaves Fada as the off laner for Team Secret. He'll be going up against Silas, safe lane Luna, Fade on the Tuscar. You got DDC's roaming Dark Willow. Mid lane then puts in Freeze, and our final lane is down bottom, which is Yang. He'll be playing that Batrider early on. But yeah, there is no contesting for any of these. By the looks of it, it's going to be a very, very passive start. That's the only. Silius? Mm -hmm. Probably more people don't start with one. Actually gives the same. That item. Of your... so, same damage. 55, 55 total for the for mid one. Against the Water Freeze, the 60, 63 thanks to his base 61 damage. And yeah, there's that Fissure Block. Yeah, so I was ready for the secondary one. And this will allow Fada to basically farm underneath his own tower. Dr. Slug, bottom. And it's just funny, Tusk is doing the exact same. Uh, what has Dota become? Well, Tusk can't keep doing it, right? Because he, he yeah. got the, uh, the two second nerf. Yeah, see, ES, ES stronger than Tuska. When you can do two blocks instead of the one. So that's actually a really nice position for Ace. Puppy's gonna be babysitting him as hard as he possibly can. Yep, Saw's up on top. He just wants to harass and keep Siler and DDC a little bit more controlled from range and just give Farda that that early advantage if possible. He gets the Archer CS. It's always nice when he places a ward in the camp just in time. They won't get a spawn, and the reason he I thought they saw a word, but no, does it? Oh, shots, puppy, bye bye. He beats the tier one tower. Realizes he's in a really bad position. He scrolls the only really easy way to get away from a bat rider. Uh, Dark Willow. Time to try and run out of this one. Yeah, so yeah, she doesn't have a stun, but if they can get a slow one to DDC, ah, no, 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 it's too early to die for tower. Even if you are a Batten, <laughs> and even if you are Fada playing the Abaddon. Slark already with 11 wand charges down bottom. This is one of the benefits of Slark against Bat, is you, you never really get threatened because you can spam Q, and you get so much regen just thanks to the fact that he's going to have to spam his Do You actually, uh, like, do you get extra levels up in the Essence Shift, just so you can, like, leash, control, steal? Nah. Nah. You don't care. It's, it's always it's always the damage of Dark Pact. Yeah, it's just too good. Alright. First, the cooldown is quite nice too. Puppy, his bounty rune. Actually, gonna try and test him as well. Fox ready to rotate around the back. So they're rolling bottle forward. Still no first blood. Puppy needs some space. Got the maledict off, and uh, yeah, he'll go down. Yang right on top of him with that firefly. No easy way to escape out of this. Base was in no, had no intention of helping Puppy. 
A lot of regen burned. Bat won't be able to threaten for quite some time. No Mango has the clarity, but not able to use it yet. They might actually just go for Bat. I think he dies here. Yep, with the paralyzing cast, the leash to hold him in position. That cask was not going to come back up again fast enough. And Yang into the trees, but the attack from Puppy will finish the job. Not, not sure why he stuck around for so long, to be honest. That was very obvious kill opportunity. Yang's been off this lane. Same uh, yesterday against BG. Lost the lane is under the void mid lane. Yeah, rolling boulder in with the shards there. Mid one's got no other choice but to stand still and just get siphoned away. They needed that to happen too. The Razor was getting a little bit of the upper hand in the uh, CS against Freeze. So good rotation from Fate. You're not going to see the same kind of thing from Team Secret. They're primarily using their supports to secure their, their side lanes. Keep in mind the key heroes, is it's really just Slark in this game. As we discussed, Slark is the hero of this Dota 2 match. He has no counter. If he has a great game, I expect Ace to just take over and carry Secret to victory. Yep. Everyone else can just play around him. At least you don't have to wait as long as you normally have to wait for the Juggernaut. Mm -hmm. like, like, we normally have, like, Battle Furies. I suppose they come in, like, 12 minutes or 12 to 14 minutes these days. But, uh, yeah. Slark, do you actually get, like, Shadowblade and just go around and hunt? Or do you think you got more time? Like, can you Echo Saber it? Um, get Super Head, but apparently it's just too good of an item. Especially when you have, like, a Witch Doctor and a Shaker to play with. Like, they just land a stun, and also you just you kill the bat the whole game. Kill him, kill the DP, the Luna, like, these heroes just can't play against Slark. I think you get the Aquila like he is, Ooh. treads, but... Yep, so he didn't want to use that Fissure just then. they will go for the Totem, the Briar Patch is down from DDC, and that is a nice control over on Yapsor. Another good sharding block from Fade. And max damage from the Shadow Realm on DDC. Bottom lane, bat's gonna be in trouble. Yeah. Leash is out, support's coming in, Puppy as well as Yapsaw, so Yang can't run away. Vision will hold him in position. And what a surprise that Yapsaw gets the kill with the bonus damage from an enchant totem. Hmm. Shocking. Fade's ready to gank the mid lane once more. Observer Ward is down, so he's got all the vision onto mid one. Got two Spirit Siphon charges ready to go as well as the level two Crypt Swarm. It's moving into. Yeah, if Fade actually goes this, which he won't, he goes top. And they're going to get a kill on Defada. So on the run, shields are up. He's got 11 one charges, but again, that Bramble Maze being a real problem. I realize I also call it the Briar Patch. Don't ask me why. It's an old kid's yeah. story. Surprise, Fata skills an extra point in Curse of Avernus instead of getting a point in Q for a deny there. I think it's worth a try. Jamel also maxing Q. for the lane harassment. Fade definitely can't stand in this lane and he knows it. Father will destroy him. Poppy and Yams are on the move once more. Trying to find Yang who so far has managed to dodge but uh, yeah, now dicked out. Yapsaw, he's gonna try and wait. Fissure block and then the leash. So Ace will find this kill and that's his first of the game. Level six now as well. It, it's, this is the danger with picking bat fourth, right? that a team is versatile as Secret, they pick a bad Slark. Your game is over. It is miserable to play Batrider here. You don't have a lane, and in the game, you always are afraid your last one might just... And because Ace is having such a good time, like, he's now 3.6k net, or 3.5k net worth. He just spent some money. Um, yeah. And the highest, uh, like, his opposite is a thousand behind. Yeah. And the kill count is still going the way of VGJ. It's just the fact that Slark's had the greatest time in the bottom. 46 CS in um, in six and a half minutes. Bot tower too. There's nothing to do about it. Yeah. This is Slark seven minutes into the game taking a tier one tower. Not really known for his amazing tower killing potential, but at least he can clean up the creep waves to the high level in Dark Pack. About this move, Ed. They realize play VGJ can make and doctors ready both supports good observe ward up on top lane scattered aces movement so Sila already retreating a lot of pings coming in Sila will be very defensive back behind his tier one tower ace will know there was a ward of course like yeah oh, I didn't realize he's also got himself a nice little stack to farm 
with the aphotic shield from Farda that's gonna actually help pop through a large amount of the life. And they need to get rid of that before Luna could potentially grab some of it. Even though she's only got one point in the Moonglaives currently. Is she just gonna double shield and run it on? Oh, Tusker, snowball's over. Farda does Navi's level six, so Ace wants to get involved. Oh, the Fissure and the Dark Pact! They were all standing on top of each other, VGJ. So Farda will die, but Ace just keeps the fight going. Freeze with the Spirit Siphon, making it difficult for Ace to keep the chase up, but then into the Shadow Dance, he does not continue. As they will back up a little bit more. Mid one's going on the mid lane, as uh, trying to run away DDC. He was protected by the Shadow Realm. And the Cursed Crown stopping mid one from chasing under the tier one tower. But 168 points of damage stolen. Tuscar thinks he can rolling boulder into this one, and he definitely can. Freeze commits the exorcism, the shards blocking mid one in a little bit, but then Fisher from Yapsaw keeps BGJ at bay. And mid one had a small gap around the shards to get back onto his side of the river. I really like this move. They put the Abaddon bottom against Bat, who even though he's slightly behind, it doesn't matter, you're Abaddon against Bat. So you just trying at him. And up top, Slark is going to counter and force him out of the lane. For the and he is going to go for the Shadow Blade. So he went uh, Treads Aquila Wand. And then Shadow Blade will be the item of choice for the Slark. Echo can come a little bit later if he still wants to have that. Is Echo actually still a, like, I'd say is it still a good item for Slark? For Slark? We haven't seen... Like, uh, any Slark picks in a very long time, so I wonder if, like, if the base item build still works. I like it, but a lot of people go SNY nowadays. Flavor of the month. I'm a huge Echo Saber, believe. It's one of the most cost efficient items in the game. Just the easy essence shift, too, right? Mm -hmm. well, lots of bursts. Batrider finishes up his item, it's going to be a drum, so Yang trying to remain alive for the moment. Will not have that jump initiation out there. Probably rightly so. It's a little too easy to counter him at the moment. He'll just pop. Still just not sure how they... Bottom, see. Willow. Yeah, Fisher block. Hold him in, starts the TP out. Yep, so stun. It's able to connect. The Shadow Realm protects TDC for a little bit, as well as the Bramble Maze, but he walk back into Ace. Third kill of the game for Ace, and uh, this is dangerous, mainly because they're getting more and more money into this Slark, and once Shadow Blade is up, he won't rely on Yapsaw to hide in the Fog of Warp next to a tree. At least they can kill off Yapsaw as he rotates back towards the mid. Oh, actually, can they? Fearship, they try to split up, support, freeze. Yapsaw has to run north, no one's coming to help. Mid one's still a little bit too busy underneath his own tier one tower. Bata, Shadow Blade on Slark, soon to be complete. Two more, yes. Sure, what mid one will go. Maybe a hood. Maybe just a rush BKB. I'm looking at. I'm, I'm sure. There's a Slark on a god like. I think that future is uh, highly likely. Like, like at least in our win, our win predictions, we would be looking at. Are pretty high right now. The win probability. Okay, it's, it's not that high. It's sixty-four percent towards the radiant. So obviously the game says there's a better chance. I mean, they do have a dark will. Yeah, they. <laughs> he's not that imbalanced. And so far, DDC. The only thing he's managed to do is dodge the uh, the ganks in from Team Secret. Bramble hasn't really controlled enough. Uh, a lot of pings coming out. That uh, was away from the vision of Team Secret, but a three-man smoke up. Ace, he's running around inside the Shadow Blades, underneath the Dire Sentry Ward, however, but you've still got that Shadow Dance, so they can't hold him in there for long enough as you pounce up and away, still under vision. The Observer Wards all being pinged out as Farda shields, looking to run in a little bit deeper. Top lane, mid. Batrider, solo. Yeah, she got the last solo off and just locked him down. This is a Batrider who had eight, 162 points of damage stolen, so it was all the magical. Yes, this is a... 
it's the fallout we're both looking at though. Like, like what happens when A starts getting successful kills? Like, VGJ Thunder will understand now that Slark has the Shadow Blade. If he gets one damage dealing item that goes along with that, then the supports are basically... Well, I wouldn't say bread because they both have an escape, be it Snowball or be it Shadow Realm. But the Slark can hang around and both don't last forever. Timing for the He's looking at the Dire Observer ward up on top. Yang. Oh, attack first, then beat into him. Yang starts the TP out. Oh. He was hoping the shards would push Yang far enough away from Ace that there wouldn't be that last poor swipe in. Now, this is a bat rider in desperate need of his blink dagger. He's at 1900, nine, just over 1900 gold, so he actually got denied his blink dagger with that death. Bottom lane, Fada just running at Luna. He has the speed as well with Maxi. It. It just looks really fast anyway. Like he may as well be 500 at that speed. He just lost it. Joy is gone. Both Puppy and Yapsaw got some decent space in mid lane while mid one was on his rotation. So Puppy completes up the urn, almost has level seven. Yapsaw, Fisher block is right on the money. Freeze. Here comes Ace. Yeah, he's a little bit more life. Ace in through the rear. <laughs> and now, Noi! Wide pounce, but sees the stack. <laughs> so may, they may try and clean this up. We've got two creeps that have gone a wall a little bit. Yang, where's this Fisher? Yep, so if you could just hold him there, Ace will pounce up. Eating bounces over! He got the leash! Yang wants to keep running. Yapsaw's back here once more. He's got Echo Slam available with a creep wave in range. Yeah, he's gonna hit the stun. Yang over Ace. the hill. Fisher oh. one second. Yang into the trees. No! Yapsaw thought he went further up. Now the TP in from Freeze. He can get some revenge onto Yapsaw. A little too deep. A secret forced the issue a little too hard. Base for Luna. Thing Dota nowadays isn't so much about kills and deaths, it's just how much space and how many creep waves are you killing. This had a lot of time to just sit bottom, farm hard camps, farm tower, ace no TP. Oh, Bada? Fade? Gonna shot him up. Fade, obviously oh, having that ability just to... He's got no borrowed time. Yeah, it's on cooldown for the moment, but Ace. Wow. Hello, and goodbye to Sylar. Faye can't keep him alive. That Eclipse doesn't last long enough, but with the arrival of the Batrider, they bring in a lot more damage now. VGJ and Freeze. Ace is locked inside the trees. He can't go in for another three seconds, and they get the vision with the Sigil to allow Exorcism and Freeze to reach the target. Team Secret. They're giving more and more advantage to VGJ with every single one of these fights. And it was meant to be the opposite way around. It was meant to be the Slark who was giving the advantage to, to Team Secret. Not not the other way around. Forcing a bit too much. Bad and ult. There was no Slark ult. And the defense power that is really just in a dead lane. Like, play that area. You look at the ward they have top. There, Slark can play this area the entire game and die. Now the bat has blink. Might be a little more difficult to stay alive, but still... Eh, just unfortunate. Bottom lane, Blastos. Yeah, it's just Yang adding pressure. It's uh, Team Secret now playing reactionary against VGJ. I really don't want Slark to play this. Day top, the great ward for him to play on. But bad in the bottom lane, the mid. Let the Slark connect. To All right now, it looks like he's just trying to catch up on his items, building him for the Yasha. Bart is getting space up on top. As you mentioned before, he's picked up the Helm of the Dominator. Solar Crest will be his next item of choice. But this is all taking a lot of time. Meanwhile, VGJ owns three of the top four net worth positions. Overall, it's not that big of an advantage. There's only 1k gold swinging both ways. Bada on the run. Got the distance, though. I don't know if I like this hurt. I like it. Plus, does it Ace. break leash? Ace is going on to freeze. You'll scepter up, you'll avoid the damage from the Dark Pact. Creep Wave was not so lucky. The Silence really doing good, and the Shard Block! Ace has to go into Shadow Dance. Pounds back off cooldown. Yang trying to chase him down, following the small little ball of, of gas. Will not chase over the river and away.
never even thought about leaving that. About what? Leaving farming. Oh, oh yeah. Ah, oh, they're fine mid. Well, they know what they need, right? Like, they need that jump in initiation, and Yabsol's the only one that really provides that, so they need to give them the space. They gave them the space in mid before, and now they gave them the space on bottom. The big timing. BKB complete on Razor, blink on Shaker, and here comes the BK smoke. This will yeah. not go well for them if they don't go off for that. Yeah. When is that... When is that jump from Yang? He jumps into the tower with his Firefly. That's uh, that's not the plan. Ace is already making his way over towards the mid as well. As far as Vision goes, there is the aggressive Observe Ward left behind by VGJ. Rather hard to keep these uh, these wards up when Slark is so maneuverable across the map. And a defensive one in front of Roshan too. Lots of saving a lot of gold. Radiant. Yeah, this would make more sense to pick up the the medallion, right? Like if you if you're gonna have 2.3k gold, exactly. So he has he has the easy item in the quick yeah. buy in case he does get in trouble. If not, relic. And it's one of those things where you know the razor rushed to BKB, so he won't scale as well. You don't usually want both cores or two out of three cores to itemize like for right now, because then you're in a position where you kind of have to force things. They're comfortable taking a fight. But they can't really chase one down, and I don't think that's the optimal way for them to play this game. They have a Slark, they can just be patient, and I expect that's what they'll do. Yeah. Once they actually have, like, they can still go for all three. I don't think they need all three BKB. They'll have two of them. The Radiance, and then, yeah, Team Secret will be a very formidable force. The Silo is the number one net worth in the field at the moment. Full Hurricane Pike, he's got Mask of Badness done. Look for his own BKB, but he's the first man to crack the 10k net worth. Team Secret just haven't found the opening yet. They've actually got... Uh, Yamsol does have a smoke available. They're far enough away from the Dire Observer that they won't be scouted out if they do pop the smoke. But it may not matter as VGJ looking to get aggressive. Ace is behind the lines, but it's Team Secret who are being attacked towards the mid. Very quick movement from mid one moving up towards Roshan. Yamsol, Fissure just controlling Yang a little bit. You're going to turn on the Mask of Madness from Sila. Five Furious from VGJ, all in the middle, trying to bring down this Tier 1 tower. But Fada's up on the top lane. He was pushing out pretty fast with the Harpy. And this Tier 2 tower will be the trade-off, unless Team Secret can defend. Fortification has already been burnt from both sides. It's not available. Mid one, terrorized, being prepped up by DDC. He'll cop a little bit of damage from the plasma field, but way too much onto mid one. Held in place with the bramble and Ace in the back line. Silas so low, but Ace couldn't commit. And he actually, okay, he has to shadow dance. Echo slam. The Absorbs arrived. Fisher, he waited it out, but then gets loose and beams done. He waited until Freeze was going to come down from the Yule Scepter, and then he's done absolutely nothing. Team Secret. They're almost getting wiped, but it's all a distraction. Fada took the tier 3 tower. He's beating into the range racks. We're 21 minutes in, and this guy's just going to continuously shield up and take out this range racks. They're pushing him away. They couldn't get the distance, and now the TP. Your Scepter, that'll cancel that one out. He's got a little bit more life thanks to borrowed time, but won't commit any extra mana. So... The fight goes the way of VGJ by team wiping Team Secret, but they lose their top range racks. Yep. And uh, that was without any pieces of his Radiance. And now Fata's definitely going to buy that item. He already buys the recipe. 700 gold from the completed. And yeah, the fight goes grim for them, but it's all about the objective control. Tier 3 Rex and BGJ can't take the free Roche that they certainly would have had they not been forced to immediately respond to that top. Yep. And they brought everybody. They realized just how hard it is to deal with the Baton. I'm wondering why so many teams are just don't just auto-ban it in the second phase against Team Seeker, because they will pick it. And if they had just recognized how much pressure Fata was applying, they'd probably back a bit earlier. That fight's super good for them if they don't lose everyone. And again, like you said, if if that Fisher goes off, I think I think <laughs> Yapsor's killing at least two. Yeah. I wonder why he hesitated. Like if, if Death Prophet was that important to get the Fisher on. The was it on cooldown or something? Uh, that's not something I would traditionally see him do. Yeah, maybe it was. I wasn't clicked on him at the time, so I, I didn't actually see the, the, the timing for it all. I think, I think that might be more likely than him being slow, but you never know. It happens. Some... Oh. He was definitely doing a turn on the spot. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> either he was, yeah, he was he waiting for it, he was thinking for it. Ace is on the hunt once more. 
Shadow Blade up. Silas gonna TP away to safety. I can't remember if you you can't force out a Slark Pounce, but I think if you Hurricane Pike him, it'll push you out of it. Really? I think so. If I'm if I'm incorrect that, that on that, work. Then the mechanics should be exactly the same. They're not. Nah. Is it, is this gonna be like the, what was that thing we uh, they learned at Dota Pit that you're just like oh yeah it was um uh, that exorcism does less damage when you get hit by a silver edge. The spirits do less damage. It used to. It used to. Well, they changed it after we discovered. Yeah, that? there's no damage reduction on silver edge anymore. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, that's right. They changed it in the, in the patch last night. Um, then um. Actually, was that last night? No, no, so, it was a while back. Yeah, they changed something on silver edge. Uh, cooldown reduced and break duration is decreased mm -hmm. to four seconds yeah. from five. The um, I'm not sure if the pike works that way, and if it doesn't. I'm like 90% sure it does, because that's the only reason I see Sylar like rushing at this game, then it's not good. But I think it does. We, we can watch. So it's BKB, by the way. This is a huge timing, level 18 as well. Uh, it's go time. BKB on the Death Prophet. A gem on the bat. Like, this is as close to go as you can. Then Radiance arrives for a baton. Well, they got a lot of good things to work with for VGJ. But it's still hard to get through the Razor. He's got uh, 20. He's got 23 armor. He's gonna have that BKB jump in initiation. They didn't get that BKB off on mid one, and mid one he doesn't have the life to survive this. No point burning the BKB. So down he drops, and VGJ can go into Roshan if they want it. They may be a little concerned about the momentum of the top lane. That push from before, it's gonna keep pushing. I'm really surprised they. This is buyback time. This has to be buyback time. Oh, Lasso, sure. Lasso is down. You don't have the vision of Firefly. Radiance will make life a little bit more difficult too, already. Forcing into the Shadow Realm. Yeah, no Willow ulti either. Yep, and Ace is waiting for a good pounce into the back lines. Bramble, Puppy. Oh, the isolation. Yang and Fei can't go anywhere. They're locked in place. Meanwhile, Fada is tanking both the BKB heroes, so Fada will die. There's no doubt about that, but it's this backline where he actually went down. All three heroes controlled him. Yep. The Aptor wasn't anywhere near. He couldn't help it. Otherwise, he just dunks on top of the snowball, and probably they kill all three. And now Yabsor can only contest Roshan. They have vision of him. He's looking to get, get a little bit of information. Flame Break won't connect. And there's Bramble down, mid one wants to move over, Roshan way too low, they will not reach him in time unless they can find a small gap, Yapsaw, if he goes down the fidget, he oh killed Roshan! He actually does it! With the long range fissure, Roshan belongs to Secret, Sila will have a little message to snatch the Inga Seam, all of a puppy, he'll go down as well, no heroes with buyback for Team Secret. They did clean up the top lane so they didn't lose their melee racks VGJ, that but uh, they have the Aegis to push. It's a huge fight for VGJ, but it's all about how many fights does Secret actually need to win to take the game, and it's really still just one. Um, if they can ever get Luna to buy back, they're in a great position, but the timing for VGJ is right now, and this butterfly upcoming. Um, if they can just get a Rax, a really good spot, BKB soon on Fat. Luna's actually huge. I'm surprised he's so far ahead of Ace already. Yeah. It was, it was Ace, it was a thousand gold ahead of him in the early game, but Sila. He hasn't got many kills. He's 1-1-13. One, one, always involved. Obviously, the Glaives are always going to give you a lot more when you have team fights. But, yeah, this is this is a dream kind of moment right now for, for Sylar. Being 4,000, almost 5,000 net worth ahead of the Slark. Having Death Prophet along his side as well. More net worth than the Slark. And building in to the Aeon Disc. No easy way just to pop down Freeze. It's all about him surviving, being that frontline tank and creating more space for Sylar. Oh, the smoke into DD. Yeah. Find Slark as well. Well, Slark instantly breaks the smoke and sees the DD collection. They will not. They will not get the fight. But Yang's gonna feel confident. He's got the gem of True Sight, so there's no way Ace can just hide inside the Shadow Blade. So they blink lasso. And it is all about the damage, the control, and the How? evaporation of Ace. How is that fair? It's just Dark Willow things or what? Like, I think like it's, it's just a, good synergy from VGJ. I mean, sure, but it's a four-second fear with a level one ultimate that's followed up by the Omni Slash of his other ultimate. It's a lot of damage. Fada will TP away from Sylar. Fate couldn't arrive in time even with his Blink Dagger. But it won't matter when VGJ, they're taking the top tier one. 
Not a lot that Secret could do to stop this. Nelson again, really not in a great position to go for his ultimate. That's probably why he's building in for a Shadow Blade as his next item. Dangerous thing to do when Yang's already running around with a gem. And what I believe is a full BKB. Yeah, he's got the BKB, the remainder of it sitting on the courier. He has got to be a happy man. Certainly. See the Aeon disc on Death Prophet as well? Yeah. yeah that's what I was thinking. Like, like, Death Prophet is meant to be that frontliner. I'm not, I'm not certain exactly how Team Secret kill her. It's hard for them to kill any cores now. There's the BKB just gets been on bat. So the, the way Secret needs to win a fight is a long one, right? You uh, whittle them down. Razor gets a big link off. Slark gets some stacks. But a long one, so BKBs. like, how do you do a long fight when you're up against Exorcism as well as just like this continuous damage from a Luna? Because they you, you create the opening when BKBs fade for a huge dunk into everybody getting wiped. Bada, toast. Cursed Crown, well, he's gonna break free, just burns the borrowed time instantly, realizing he had two on him, and Sila, well, in the middle of this fight, alongside mid one, he can steal all the damage he wants, at least got the BKB off this time for mid one, so Yang, losing the gem of True Sight, Yabso instantly jumping in to get that gather up, BKB is gone for mid one, Ace jumps over on Sila, they'll burn the Aegis the Immortal, Essence being shifted the way of Ace, Fate has to snowball and protect himself, but this BKB for the Slark is wearing off right now, oh, the Conqueror oh. Slam, Yabso comes him through the side. Sila, finally he'll go down and Fata survives through this. He shields up. He looks for a denial and he actually did it too. He denied himself yeah. with the miss coil, allowing Yapsaw to finish off free. So yeah, sure, Yapsaw, take all the money. But what a fight for Team Secret. That's exactly how they got to fight. You bait the, you get the BKBs used. You trade Razor BKB. Abaddon ults to cancel the lasso and all of a sudden, BGJ runs out of tools and then the dunk. Slark's killing everybody. And yep. now he has stacks to work with too. 24. And that essence shift and all the experience that comes their way too. Yamsaw has the full Shadow Blade. They took the gem off VGJ, so Ace will feel a lot more secure. And because they've taken the Tier 3 tower before, they can actually open up on the shrines yep. after they've taken out the Tier 2 tower, so... Taking the Tier 2 tower on bottom is a lot easier yep. for Team and, Secret. And that fight also means Slark... The change to MKB, where it now just gives a lot of attack speed without any raw damage, hurt a lot of heroes and their ability to buy it, but Slark loves that change because all he needs is more attack speed to get more stacks and more damage, and it prevents Luna's timing now because oh. he'll have it when he gets the butterfly. Poor Puppy. He is on the receiving end of the hatred of VGJ. He did not have Paralyzing Cask available, and uh, Team Secret will back off before they try and attempt this Tier 2 tower. That was the fight secret needed. I don't know what the win probability is, but I'd say it's back up to like 70%, and it would be 90% if they can get a Roche. Yeah, it's, it's... That graph does not look right. No, it's because... Like, it's, it's, it's meant to be zero in the middle, and then you just jump to 75 to 100%. Where is, where it's is 50, 25 and 50? It is 50. It is 50, 50? I mean, it's 25, if 75% for secret is 25% for gay and vice versa. Okay. I I just I just don't like how graphs don't go from zero to one hundred. Not everything can be the way you want it to be. Because I want everything. This makes sense to me. This makes sense mm. for my simple archaic brain. Oh. Give me freaking fractions. <laughs> uh, the other uh, thing about that fight was the link on the Luna, right? And he mm -hmm. has to force staff away with Aegis because God forbid he gets a full drain. There's no more Luna anymore. And. Bata, of course, with the Radiance, he's going to continue to scale. Yapsor, they also got the gem that fight. I mean, yep. that, that was that was the fight Secret needed. Now he has a Shadow Blade on Yapsor. Poppy's even afforded a Spirit Vessel. Yang, looking for a bit of a kill. Can't Fireflies up over the hill where they just lost the extra vision. They jump over towards Vata, and again, borrow time. Just breaks him free and lasso on cooldown for... A, it's such a long cooldown as well. Yeah. It's 80 only, seconds. It's only 40 on the borrowed time, so... And Ace is going to kill bottom. Oh. Wait, no. Oh, did Faye just blinked over the tree line? He, uh, he leapfrogged the fish. Really like Ace's items, by the way. No Sanj and Yasha, just the Yasha to help accelerate into BKB, which was needed. It actually helped win them that last fight. Yep. And uh, now he's going to just go for MKB, which really, it just straight up removes the Luna power spike. 
Yeah. He'll, does he actually... He can't buy it out just yet, so there will be a short period of time while the butterfly is up and the MKB will not be available. But uh, if he can get a kill like this, Freeze just walking up. There's they know there's more behind him. That's why uh, Team Secret, they're waiting to engage. Vision is down by Puppy. Vision is down by DDC as well. Observer and Sentry with the jump. It comes down in the lane itself after Freeze. He'll exorcism up and the BKB has been burnt. They need a little bit more damage. The Death Ward's too far away from Puppy to reach into Freeze, but it won't stop oh. the Echo Slam. Yapsaw jumps in the perfect time. Even gets the fidget sun onto DDC. So they have no real influence, but Sila, however, he's got an influence. BKB now wearing off, so has to run away. Baden still surviving through all of this. Mid one with 201 points of stolen damage. Can't find a hero to hit. As everyone disengaged. Saved the gem on secret. Don't want to lose gem in this game. Puppy who was, made, was able to gather it up. Uh, fade? Oh, okay. You saved the gem. Puppy, there's a snowball. Mid one's nearby. So you can roll forward, blink away, Farda in the neighborhood. Said you will make the chase a little bit harder, paralyzing cask, and you're for global. Yeah, well played by fate. Watch and it go, watch really it go. Yeah, have, you, have you lost it, Scriff? Have you lost it? Have you lost it? It's passing the tier three tower, coming over the tier fours. Oh, oh, oh and blink. It's going to hit that. Uh, really good courier discipline from Ace in that fight. He kept it down here because he recognized Tusk. Uh, would probably have vision and was hunting it and punch one shots the courier so good job by him if they lose the mkb right as roche comes back up in a minute they would have been in some big trouble because the, again then that luna is uncountered with butterfly and doesn't die till the it is yeah you're right too roshan is one minute away the so vgj thunder will have their ultimates back up for the fight will be their small advantage ace can take care of the shrine in the meantime if he uh doesn't find the kill. You can also see how Secret approached that fight. They fissured instead of dunking on top of a Death Prophet, because the Aeon Disc would just pop and then he would live. They just proc that first. Nice target. Bramble comes down from DDC and jump in. Yang wants to try and find a little bit more. Going after Ace. Can he get the BKB? No! Wow. They actually burst him in time! Dark Willow buys back into the game. The Fissure block keeping VGJ a little bit further away from Farda, but not far enough. Yang's right on top of him. They bring in more help. Damn, this borrowed time makes it so difficult to find the instant kill as mid one jumps in. He starts to seal the damage. He's running away, but still stealing damage as he goes. He's taking it away from Freeze, but Exorcism from Freeze will do the damage. Ooh. Yep, Sword's in! A huge Echo Slam, but no follow-up! Mid one can't stand his ground and attack. Even Puppy, the Yulsa him out. Breeze will get the double kill and Team Secret. It is now their turn to die as VGJ will be able to enter Roshan. Rosh spawns. Mm. Perfect timing. This Aegis means that once again VGJ sort of has the like advantage so to speak but it's only because of the Aegis and Secret still has the advantage in this game. It just means that they have to play one more extra fight now. <laughs> I love the Dominator creep. Push the top lane in. Who's that a defend? It's only going to be Yang. But Yang is enough. With Firefly at least having AoE clearance. Taking VGJ a while to finish Roshan. And there it is. Finally down. Scyther will grab the Aegis. Freeze will grab the Cheese. Scyther currently going for a Lincoln's. Not sure I agree with that choice. Um... Lincoln's? It's, it's to prevent the the link from Razor because there's really nothing there's nothing else to cancel it through BKB. But unless you can get the distance, but wouldn't that just be easy to get like Scotty and then Hurricane Pike it? Like yeah, that way you have the slow and then you just break with the distance. I suppose if he's BKB, you don't have. No, that. yeah, so yeah, you can't you can't break Lincoln's right now. The a bit like an Abyssal Blade, right? But that's not something Clark's gonna have anytime soon. He is going for Basher, which is the choice. Um. And a DD is bottled on Slark, so they actually have a pretty interesting timing here where they could look for a fight on VGJ versus allowing them to come up high ground potentially with another item on Luna. So I think you make a move here. No gem on them anymore, though. They need everyone to be ready to fight. Yamsaw is TPing out now. They're yeah, still in range of Observer Wards. That's the advantage, however, of Ace. He can ping this stuff out. Yamsaw wants a big Echo Slam. Just got the Echo Slam damage talent as well. Up by 50, and target! 
is Freeze. Vision to begin, and here comes Yang. BKBs, all three of them come off. Ace is taking way too much damage. He has to go into the Shadow Dance, and now has to get the hell out of there because mid one can't survive. Ace, he didn't get, he didn't clear it. He's trapped in the river. Both are down without buyback and Team Secret. Oh that, that could actually be the game right now. With a Luna, she has a Divine Brick and Rapier. That's gonna force no, them in. Died. Yeah. They had so much damage so quickly. And now I think Team Secret have actually just lost this game. Yeah. The or I should say VGJ just won this game. Yeah. If we go the opposite direction. Echo Slam, oh, no. yeah, it's all! And he goes, they're gonna kill him! But the Aegis Sea Mortal, you knew the insurance was there. Yamsaw did everything he possibly could. Fana up in the air, the bar type now gonna wear off. He needs more help though. Yamsaw bought back to try and do the work. Fana living for the moment. Fate jumps in, flips him like a pancake. They still wanna bring him down. 17 seconds before you got borrowed time. A denial from Fana, a while it's a small victory. And they're retreating for the he moment. Earn, oh, he has to cheese through the super earner. We would have died yeah, in the last Maledict take. Jumps him, doesn't get out instantly. Yapsaw, that's a die back from him. 93 seconds on the sideline. Razor as well as Slark will come up. But while that Divine Rapier is out, these bouncing glaives are going to destroy them. They go for Throne here. Yeah, they do. If they end this, this it's over. Like, there's no way really Team Secret could defend this without the Echo Slam initiation. It'll take a miracle for Secret to hold this line. Ace, he's looking at the back lines. They focus Sila, even Lotus all protecting him. Ace just took so much damage. Puppy, Silas, he can't even get the paralyzing cask off. He wanted to get the cask oh. to get the control on Sila, Lunar's who is die. so, so low. Nope, Lunar is maledict, maledict, and pow! <laughs> Save the rapier. Get out, yeah. get out, get the hell out, run away. All right, so game's not over. It's not. It's not over at all. Because top laner acts as well. Correct. And I was, I cannot believe he just bought that, right? Like, you can tell that even Secret was surprised. They're going on this DP. They're like, oh, we're going to proc the end disc. Maybe we take this fight. And then all of a sudden, in three attacks, Slark's like, oh, God, I have to spam my R button. And just, they're, they're dead. Uh-huh. And how, I, it's like the fifth game I've cast. I don't even cast. And it's just the second Roche. Into a rapier on a gyro well, or a Luna, hey, hey, you said and they're, they're winning the game. Like Team Secret wanted to delay the fights. How do you stop Team Secret from delaying the fights? Having so much damage, well, the Secret have to commit everything at the beginning. Yeah, exactly. I mean, now the game plan is real simple. It's all in for the Luna and killing. <laughs> well, that's that's a lot more possible when you have the Earthshaker alive, because he has to get the jump before the BKB from the Luna can be it can be put into effect. Yep. That's, that's the only way this works. But then Slark has to be ready to follow up. Pick up the Rapier and then go to work too. Yeah. And the gold is misleading at the moment. The Rapier is on the ground. In reality, VGJ is like 5,000, 6,000 ahead. Yep. Um, as net worth just is not represented. Person's inventory. But Team Secret got control of the lanes. Exactly. So uh, they're, they're feeling fine here. This is all good for them. They just need to kill Luna. And that's it. No Aeon Disc on him. You just say that's it. Like, it's that easy. This is, this is the, uh, well, it's really the 2.5, 2.6k value net worth. So she's 2.1, now 2.7. <laughs> okay, yep. It's, it's going to be the Fade show. If, the, <laughs> if he can snowball to save Silar at some point, like, that'll change the game. Uh, this is also going to be the dream as well for Aluna. She can now buy the Satanic. Yeah. So you, you're all in anyway. So you, yeah, she's disassembled the Mask of Madness. They'll, they'll smoke up and come outside the base. On the way through, they'll pass the Secret Shop, pick up the Reaver. And this is normally the dream build for Aluna. Butterfly, BKB, Satanic, yeah. Rapier. He, he's got to be careful. Blade Mail on Abaddon and Razor. So if he's just auto-attacking, all of a sudden oh, he might be kill himself. himself. Exactly. He has to be fast with the Satanic. Oh, here's your jump in. BKB from Yang, looking for the target. This is a low duration BKB as Team Secret. They play the trees. It's Fada jumping in closer. And Freeze, there he is in the middle of the fight. And they look for the target. Snowball protection. Freeze is taking care of Puppy in the sidelines. But Silas, the primary target. He's dropping down quickly. And he killed himself all on the blade mail. It's still, however, Slark is a traitor. Fada got the rapier. He can stand his ground and survive. Mid one's also up. Not too healthy, however. But the Angry Slam! Yeah! 
Capsaw with the fissure. Yang can't even drag back Fada all the way there he wants to. And Puppy into the back lines. No, he still can't do much more. Blade Mel out. Fade's killing himself once more. Fada as well. Freeze doesn't want any kind of part of this. Fada wants to try and run towards the trees. Can he actually save the rapier? No, Freeze will grab it this time. It is just trade-off rapier at the moment. A three for three trade-off. The VGJ. They hold the rapier throughout all. Yep. The blade mail pickup from mid one was key there. He nearly died, but they took out Luna. Just he, <laughs> and, and the big thing to note is now Death Prophet is locked to this rapier because it was picked up by Fada, so they cannot give it back to Luna. Oh boy. It is not nearly as scary on a Death Prophet, for obvious reasons. Yeah, hey man, plus 378 damage on a Death Prophet for an attack speed, which is, well, it's kind of crap. Like... <laughs> Attack speed is 144. 1.18. Compared to the Luna, which is... Uh, what's, what's she sitting at right now? She's at 0 0.49. Yeah. 345. It, yeah. It's a big deal, because keep in mind, Tyler never went for that Lincoln's for a rapier. So now, if he gets linked, he's effectively going to be out of the fight. Yep. And the Slark is now not nearly as threatened by any heroes. He, he was just dying because he'd get hit by Luna, he'd get glaived, and all of a sudden he's exploding, but... Now the key hero for VGJ doesn't like crush anymore. You were you were talking about like uh, like when the rapier was on the ground, just how it was ineffective net worth because it wasn't being wasn't being valued. Right now, this is ineffective net worth for VGJ because it's all about the maneuvering for Death Prophet. So we can look towards the next Roshan. He can potentially respawn in ten seconds. I was about to say as well. It's the third as well. So a refresher shard on Slark, on Abaddon, on mm. TP, on Luna. Game changing. Well, hello. Abaddon's actually picked up a Lotus Orb as well. I'm waiting to see when Team Secret's going to finally hit these level 25s. So you got VGJ Thunder, who are this close to getting all three of their cores up to the level 25 talents. But Team Secret have a long way to go. Slark's at 21. Yamsaw has more experience than the Slark has. For many, because Slark keeps dying at the beginning of the engagements. Yeah. And Yamsaw yeah, soaks up the experience after. Are they going to smoke up? You got ES with it? They look towards mid. Okay, they're not even going to wait for it. This, this feels like bait. I think they're trying to get Freeze to die so they can switch the rapier <laughs> over. <laughs> it's, like, can that even be a legitimate strat? Where it's like, hey, can you initiate everything you've got onto the Death Prophet to kill her? Hey, I mean, it worked the first time they had a rapier. Unfortunately, this time it's not on the Luna. Yeah, that's that's what I'm wondering. Like, does Team Secret look at that and go, I actually don't want anything yeah, to do they, with that? They can't, because he has the Aeon Disc, too. Yeah. So it's just, it is just bait. And not to mention, we saw in the last fight, the Snowball save after a blink is always available as well. Roshan's going to be 35 seconds away. Mm -hmm. So, a decent spawn time. Team Secret. Of course, they've got some fantastic fight around the pit. They have two smokes as well. Looks like Firefly up for the Batrider. They're checking the vision. They get rid of the Observer Ward that was down. So it's only VGJ who have the Observer Ward around the front of Roshan. Sila protected by this Lotus Orb. Not finding the target he wants. Bottom lane is actually pushing in quite nicely for Team Secret. So they have some momentum on that front. Rosh. The top lane is going to do the same thing. And uh, yeah, Roshan is now up. Sigil scouts oh, it out. And so does the Centaur. Oh, really? Freeze? Freeze? <laughs> it's on freeze! Oh, this is this just feels useless. <laughs> but it's a big number. It's a... Yes. It is 162 plus 540. You could be happy with your 702 damage, sure. Arcane Ring bottom as well. That'd be a big... for any core in this game. At that point, you kind of almost want to give it to Yapsaw. Yep. Like... Just let him just have that non-stop lockdown. The about it is, it's really three cores on Secret to two on VGJ. And if they can all finish their next round of items, Ace with, a, I assume, a Silver Edge, they're going to have a Yang Nullifier. Jumps in, looks for Ace. He all, yes, he does get the dart packed off. Even the Leash onto Yang. Both enabled. So the jump in does not work. He can't oh, be able to get it. Yeah, so there's the hit. He's almost killed the Luna Space created by DD 
DT and Silent can turn on the Titanic, looking for the life to steal. Mid one was taking all the damage, however. 227 points. Hilarious thing is, it meant the blade melt did absolutely nothing from mid one. They'll hit the deck again. Sila turning on the Eclipse, still with the creep wave there. About it, there's your ultimate with the blade melt. BGJ are their own worst enemy. But hey, they've still got the rapier on the Death Prophet, who will walk away. But Roshan is up. Yapsaw has a look at it. But do they have enough to really take it? It's not the greatest lineup for it. They have a shrine, though. They do have a shrine. At the same time, you have a refresher orb for freeze. He burns it, so he has exorcism and BKB for the next fight. No buyback, though. They're all in. But I mean, he has the rapier, so he knew that anyway. Yep. And that this is sick, too, because it's a secret refresher. Whenever you're playing into secret. that, you can get surprised. They're wrapping around. Echo Slam is still on cooldown, but if they can kill the Lunar, it'll be a dieback for Sila. He did expend all the money he had, and they get vision on him. They're going up. After Sila, no BKB, it's a full small window, but the window is opened up again! The bloody Harpy! She will get crashed down by Yamsaw, and the fight is on! Sila, BKB, holding the Satanic, Fada once again with the Blade Mount, Sila just doesn't want to attack, he keeps killing himself every bloody time! The Fissure Control is way too good! VGJ, they need more lives, they've got him thanks to the buyback, but Yamsaw, another double stun for him! The gem's on the deck, the Death Prophet with Exorcism, up, has enough to fight, but does she really? Ace has already managed to get back into this fight, oh, stealing the essence. More fissure control, more buybacks. VGJ commit the whole kick and caboodle. The rapier is on the deck, and Yamsaw, he kind of wants it. He kind of got it. And Fade will pop off to the Maledict. Who do you want now, Yamsaw? You know you love to kill. You know you love to get money. DDC, primary target number one. Blink, stop. Boom! Down she goes. Death to the bit. Uh, person as now they will take the GG call. Team Secret! It took 49 minutes, but this throne is finally gonna go down the glory. Echo slam from Yapsor as he bounces around. GG well played. Team Secret. What a game. What a turn. What an All idiotic situation. Mails. All the blade mails. Luna can't turn <laughs> off glaives, so by attacking anyone, he's gonna hit the blade mail guys too. Yep. And killed himself and they that's the three core lineups versus two core lineups that